Well, hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And today's show is uh, going to be especially painful because we have to talk about jealousy. Jealousy from the Duchess of Sausages perspective. In this case, we got this. Meghan Markle in new photo shoot of Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet at Montecito Mansion. Now, it's obvious that when we talk about the big guns of Montecito, we're not talking about Meghan and Harry. Uh, of course not. Those two have lost all gunpowder by this point, and they have been in desperate need of either an extreme makeover or a big push from a greater brand. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But first, the photo shoot thing, especially announcing that Archie and Lily are coming in a photo that tells you the level of desperation. And we know that the clock is ticking. We're less than one month away until WME's contract expires and they, in one year, one of the greatest PR firms in the world, would have done nothing for Megan. With all the platform that she has, with all the infamy and the outrage that she has, her brand hasn't been able to take off. But the jealousy part is one that is rather disturbing. Because the photographer in question summoned to the Montecito Manor to take the most expected pictures of 2024 is none other than Jake Rosenberg. And yeah, wh why Jake Rosenberg? I, I made a video about him, by the way, back in the day. It must still be up at my Body Language Guy channel. And I made a video with all the connections with Meghan Markle and... Of course, all those pictures where they appear rather cosy with each other. And there is no shortage of those pictures. But my, my first question was, why him? Why had to be Jake? Why not Miss and Harriman or any other photographer that could be nearby? And I don't know, maybe Harry is not jealous at all. Maybe he's a very confident man, confident in himself, confident in his wife, and not even worried about the proximity of a very successful old flame because Jake Rosenberg is really successful. Not, not, not even that will make Harry feel uneasy, right? Harry is way beyond that. After all, Harry was in the military. He was an Apache pilot and all. He was in like 200 tours of Afghanistan. He, he even did a 360 no scope in real life. I know that many of you don't know what that is, but Harry did it twice. Now, on the other side of things, since Jake is a great photographer, I was checking his website, and by the way, amazing photographer, and Megan is right there in the first page. You, you don't even have to scroll. But now let's talk about why the Duchess of Sausages is taking out the big guns, Archie and Lily. And this is by request of Kris Jenner. You see, there's a bit of turmoil in the Kardashian camp. It's not that their show is not that successful. Some say that the Kardashians have lost shine because women, the main audience of the Kardashian family, are less interested in that glamorous lifestyle and more keen of keeping up with more down-to-earth people. I am not entirely sure about that, but you know that in show business, especially when there are no hard numbers to go by, you have to take things always with a grain of salt. Just like uh, Bob Iger. Bob Iger said that when Disney Plus and Hulu merge, the Kardashians premiere was their most successful non-scripted show. But again, I would take Bob Iger's words with a grain of salt. And you remember... Doria's meeting with Chris Jenner a few months ago, that was on purpose. That was Mother Chris testing the waters for a possible collaboration. That was in the works back then, and now Harry was hanging out with Chris Jenner's boyfriend for reasons. That's what they are doing. They are exploring the way that how can they have the synergy between them. And before you ask me, no. I don't think the Kardashians need Meghan Markle, but I have done some research and I found that at least Meghan and Kim Kardashian 
are analogous in terms of global search. And that is something, because hands down, Kim Kardashian is the most famous of the Kardashian family. So, Megan and Kim together could make so much noise if, if they find a stadium big enough to fit their egos. Now, of course, in the social media field, Kim has, I don't know, more than 300 million subscribers. Uh, and Megan just has a brand with 500,000. So it's a bit unfair of a comparison. But this is important as well. According to reports, the photographer snapped a series of pictures of Megan uh, on her own cooking and her with the children. So it's obvious that Megan wants to present uh, this image of homely life. It looks like it has to do with the brand that she launched. I already said that on past shows, but the test launch of her brand has made it very clear that she needs strong strategic alliances to be able to be successful. And it would be great that one of the guests, if not the first guest to her upcoming cooking show were none other than Kim Kardashian herself. And again, the Kardashians are doing great on their own, but... Chris has thought that, uh, what if we can combine forces? Because she has seen for herself how crazy people become, not only with Megan, but just with Doria back then. That photo, a very simple photo with Doria, made headlines everywhere. And I'm pretty sure that it reached out people that is not the main audience of the Kardashians. So that is critical as well, because... You need to be always reaching out more people. But the only reason royal things have become beyond insane with the royal topic in America is not because of Meghan. No, it's because of Catherine. Because even TMZ is announcing a documentary investigating where is Kate Middleton. And my answer is the same. She's at home. But all these outlets have realized that Catherine, Princess of Wales, drives way, way more headlines than anything. And it's just because she hasn't appeared. And what Chris Jenner thinks is that they could create something similar with Meghan, with the big guns who Meghan has kept away from the public for so long. And now for Obvious reasons at the same time, people simply do not ask about where are Harry and Meghan's children. Even if we see Harry and Meghan traveling all the time, everywhere, nonstop, without their kids, nowhere to be seen, not even a silhouette, not even, uh, hey, there, over that sand dune. No, nothing of the sort. People really are not asking about that. Even Piers Morgan had the TMZ guy on his show to talk about Yes, you guess it. Catherine. I mean, the only explanation I have for this is that all this has been slow news days. That's the only explanation that I come up with. Not to mention the absurd headlines like the mirror. Megan in formal contact with Kate Middleton, but not sisterly amid scandal. Who's gonna believe that? But rogues, I would love to know what do you think about this in the comments. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And remember, much love and bliss.